Hey there, this is Dr. Isaac coming at you from the Pain-Free Maverick, always bringing you Maverick solutions to help you eliminate your pain on your own. And today, in this video, I wanna talk about tech neck. Could tech neck be the cause of your headache pain or your neck pain from sitting too long at your computer, your laptops, your iPads, or your phones? Let's discuss this today. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can help yourself avoid tech neck. Let's talk about the neck right here. This is the thoracic spine and the, the neck attachment right over here. Now, if you look over here, this is your middle back and this is your skull bones right over here. And I removed the top of the skull to show you the brain so you can understand the anatomy. And this is very important because it's gonna to explain to you exactly how tech neck happens. Now, you could see how the blue bone sits on top of the first white bone, which is the first rib area and the cervical vertebrae, the neck bones, okay? Now, you could see how straight everything is when you're an uh, upright position with good posture. But can you imagine as you look down on your phone or your laptop for hours and hours and hours, what happens over here? You get a stretch to the back of these skull bone muscles and these wires, these yellow wires, which I'm gonna show you right now, these yellow wires, which are the peripheral nerves or what they call nerve endings, they attach between bone and muscle to send electrical signals up and down the head and into the middle of the back. Now, the head is about, weighs about 12 pounds or so. It's like a bowling ball, okay? Now imagine that bowling ball over time, not sitting straight down the center and it kind of teeters forward. Can you imagine the strain of all the muscles in the back of your skull right over here, having to hold up that bowling ball? Well, that's exactly what tech neck is. It's bad posturing because we sit for probably six hours of our day. We don't even realize it, especially now that we're uh, working from home. And uh, a lot of these muscles in the back over here are called the erector spinae, and you have the rhomboid muscles in the middle traps, all the anatomy, all these tissues over here have nerve endings in them. And you can imagine nerves are wires and they can get stretched and pulled. And when they get pulled, can, they get squeezed. And that squeeze sends a signal up to the brain and the brain processes it as protection. Go ahead and protect and it creates a spasm and that spasm sets off uh, muscle tension and you feel like knots in there, trigger points which are bumpy areas around the muscles where you feel like when you press in your neck, it feels like you wanna jump. Now, I'm gonna show you right now exactly a tool that can help you. You can get this tool anywhere. You can buy it, I think, on Amazon for a few bucks. It's one of my favorite tools that can help you self-adjust your tech neck and then after that, after you improve the mobility, I'm then going to show you how to increase the stability or the strength of the muscles of the upper back. So very simple exercises. Now, the first one I want to show you is I'm going to grab this tool right over here. And this is called a mobility band. And this is the one I was telling you, you could pick up on Amazon for a few, but I think it's like 18 bucks or something like that. It's a thick band and you can unravel it. You can use this for many, many things. And what you do with this one is you put it behind the area where you have the most uh, discomfort, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unravel it and I'm gonna put it right behind this area right here in my upper back. You can see that right there. I'm gonna turn around and show you. See that? And what I'm doing is I'm pointing it up to the ceiling in that direction. And as I point it up, I tuck my chin and lean back like that. And that feels so good right here. So what I'm doing, I'm actually pulling on the nerve endings on my upper back. Now, it's better to do this without um, a shirt on so it's right on skin because really what it does is if you look at this rubber band, it has the ability to pull and, and, and it kind of slides up and down the skin. You can see how it's sliding up the skin. So if you put it on your middle back or any part of your skin, it's actually going to pull those nerve endings up towards the, the ceiling and it's going to feel like someone's fingers is actually massaging or stretching the tissue. Now, right underneath that the skin is, is, is the nerve endings um, that 
connect into what they call the fascia. And I can show you over here on the model, right here, those nerves sit right under this red area, right over here. You probably know what fascia is because um, you've eaten chicken before, right? I mean, if you're, if you're a vegetarian, you've seen chicken and you rip off the skin and then you have that uh, clear um, uh, covering on the meat. And if you peel it off, it looks like cellophane paper and it's very, very thin, but that's what holds those nerve endings in place. And those nerve endings are the pain fibers that can send pain up and down into the, into the spinal cord and create a painful feeling that you may have. So with tech neck, a lot of people will say, I have tension in my neck and I feel like I have to kind of pop it or I can't, I feel like I have to constantly turn my neck side to side. Nothing makes me comfortable. Or they'll also say something like, um, it goes into my eye, right above my eyeball. I feel like a tension or something is squeezing on the top of my head and like pulling in the back of my skull. It can cause that same kind of feeling of a tension headache. Now, the, the treatment is um, that you have to improve, like I said, the structure, neurostructure, meaning nerve and structure, where the bones and the nerves meet between the bones of the spine, which I showed you on the model before. So you could put this anywhere um, that you feel the pressure. Another place you could put it is on the bottom of your skull, right over here, if you're having a headache. And as you can see over here, I, I just wrapped it behind the back of my skull bones over here, or you can see over here and over here. And what I'm doing is I'm basically grabbing the tissue, pointing this in up, upward direction to the ceiling, and I'm basically nodding my chin in like that, like almost bringing my chin to my throat. Simple. And I just repeat that about 10 times. I can show you on the side. And I'm also going to do little rotations left and right. So turning my head, tuck, uh, bringing my chin to my throat, and then turning left and right. This is a wonderful tool. I highly recommend that you pick it up. I think it's called a Voodoo Floss Band or our Edge Mobility Band. You can pick these up online uh, on Amazon and do so many different exercises. A lot of my videos uh, demonstrate the use of the mobility band. So um, I would highly recommend you get this. Now, if you like this video and you feel like it helped you with tech neck and you feel like you want more of this information, I would love to have a conversation with you. You go ahead and subscribe to my channel, share it, hit the bell below so that when more videos come up, looking forward to giving you my next video, which is going to be about headache pain and what you can do to relieve it using self adjustments with your fingers.